Finding high intent leads for software companies is very hard because there's lots of software companies and most of them don't have any differentiation. So today we're going to talk about finding high intent leads for software house, specifically ones that provides no code solution for startups and small to medium sized businesses. We're going to cover how do we find the target audience, lead generation strategies, crafting va a valuable offer, qualifying leads, outreach and follow up and tracking and optimization. So let's begin. Firstly, we want to define our target audience. I think there are about five groups that we can target. Non-technical founders without a chief technology officer in their uh, team. Um, startups and small, medium-sized businesses. Older people in not so tech industries, for example, manufacturing. Companies without a development team or chief technology officer. Er, or companies hiring for low-code low developers. Okay, so all these could be a, a good target market. Now, what we want to do in terms of lead generation strategies, we can do a few things. One of them is pass success campaign. So what we do here is we identify companies that have similar problems solved by the software house. And then we craft a message highlighting the problem solved and the results achieved. For example, if they're targeting a marketing firm, they can say we can connect with low code tools between LinkedIn ads to all your tech stack, for example and then ask them if they're looking to achieve a similar outcome and that's going to generate leads. Older people in not so techy industries, we can offer a free audit on how to automate processes or solve problems without much effort and highlight the benefit of the audit and how it can help their businesses. Targeting specific industries, we can focus on industries that are non-tech savvy like manufacturing, job posts and intents. This is a big one. So we can target, for example, I'm going to start from the bottom, Upwork job posts. People are looking for Upwork job posts, we can target them. Again, finding companies uh, that are hiring for low-code devs. Uh, we want to avoid tech-heavy industries, for example, uh, software development, unless there's a common pain or point or pain point or exceptional results that we have with this sort of industry. Then on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, certain versions are going to have interest filter, and that's going to help you find people who are engaged with no who engage with no-code development platform content. Okay, now you want to craft a valuable offer. For example, it could be a product roadmap. You want to, where you say, I'm going to create a personalized product roadmap for uh, my leads. It's based on their specific needs, and I can offer this as a free service to stand out from competitors. It has to be something so appealing that they would normally pay for. Now, you don't have to provide this to everyone. Okay, you can qualify them first. Even if somebody says, yes, I'm interested, you say, okay, great, let's just take, check with that we are a fit, okay? And if they're not a fit, you say, sorry, but if they are a fit, let's do that. And then, of course, they need to jump on a call with you and, and get through um, everything that's needed. You can offer other valuable resources. We're going to talk about a little bit more and what other resources that leads would normally pay for and offer these resources for free to encourage leads to book a meeting. You want to qualify leads and you firstly you want to determine the criteria for qualifying leads uh, you can use different criteria for example do they have a budget how big they are how quickly do they want the project etc um, you want to prioritize leads based on their fit and potential value and focus on providing valuable offers to qualified leads only outreach and follow-up you want to personalize the messages based on lead specific needs and interests you want to do that uh, probably with clay or manually if you're doing low volume. You want to highlight uh, the value of your offer and how it can help their businesses and set up a system for follow-ups to nurture leads and book meetings. If somebody says not now, follow up with them in three months, six months, nine months. Keep them on the hoop and uh, don't let go. Now, you want to monitor the success of each of the lead generation strategies up there. You can use all of them together and then see which one works best. And you want to track the number of meetings booked and deal closed from each approach. Continuously optimize your strategies based on performance data. Now, if you do all that, I do recommend you still do some inbound. Inbound is very important. So you want to post regular content walkthroughs like this. That you walk through a specific process. You want to post case studies. You want to post problem solutions. So somebody came to you and... This is what this is the solution that you have, and you want to review low-code apps, for example. And the other inbound that you can do is you can develop a micro SaaS solution that caters for your industry, 
like I said before, for example, the marketing industry, they need s different connectors. And for somebody to use it, they need to register. So you offer them free in exchange for contact details, and then you can nurture them. You can email them, and that's going to generate an inbound for you. So this is how you're going to generate uh, leads for your uh, marketing offer to your um, software agency. And I hope this was valuable to you. Please leave a comment to uh, increase the reach of this post.